Hello, lovely Scorpios. I'm Luchan Devi with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your December 2018 Love and Romance Reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who thumbs up and like my readings. Thank you to all of those who comment and share. And thank you to all of my old subscribers as well as all of my new subscribers. If you would like to book a private reading with me, you can do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. You can also book a reading with me now directly through the description box below. If you would like to know who your future long-term partner is, when you'll meet your partner, where you'll meet your partner, how you'll meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize your partner, and more, as well as a full reading as to how to align yourself with your partner and your ideal relationship, you can book a future partner reading with me now through the description box below or again at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. If you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can contact me at any time through the free Instant Go app. The link for that is instantgo.com slash powerlifehypnosis. I do respond to all messages on Instant Go within 24 hours. So if you would like to contact me through Instant Go through my website or book a reading with me now through the description box below, the links are all there. So you can go ahead and check those out. Scorpios, this is a general reading of course so the messages may or may not resonate if they do not you can check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may resonate or you can check your sun moon and rising sign videos if they do to get a more complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the month of december 2018 the end of the year we are finally here and you can also cross watch this sign for your romantic interests as well as that reading may hold additional messages. So let's go ahead and get started here, Scorpios. All right. I hope you all had a wonderful birthday season as well. So I have here our theme of what we could be experiencing. I have here our two predictions, our fortune for our love life and romantic relationships and then i have our guidance so we can talk about how to bring about the best outcome during this month so for our theme here i'm feeling as though we've had these cards come up recently we have the past life relationship card you have known each other before and we have here this theme that we've been seeing in recent months of unrequited love so what could these cards be signifying here for this reading well we know from last month that we have been dealing with the soulmate so I'm picking up the same energy here so we are dealing with a soulmate who it looks like came into our lives for the reason of teaching us some kind of lesson, helping us clear some kind of karma, illuminating something, perhaps something of our shadow side, maybe an aspect of ourselves that we did not recognize before that may, <clears throat> excuse me, may have been challenging us in our relationships or hindering us from attaining happy, healthy, fulfilling relationships. So we are dealing with here somebody that we've known before somebody that we've known in past life so this is a significant partner here and this is regardless of the circumstances but we do have this unrequited love card so there does look like there's some unrequited love on either your part scorpio or the other person's part but there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship with this soulmate going so it could be that and i'm not sure if we spoke about this in the november readings and i feel like we did it might be that there is an ending to a soul contract coming during the month of december if this has not happened already so before we incarnate into our current lives we form these soulmate relationships these soul contracts these soul bonds and we sign a contract before we incarnate again saying that we're going to meet this person at this particular time in our lives at this particular place i just saw 444 on the clock, clock speaking of angelic healing so we sign this soul contract saying we're going to have this experience with this person and we do we live out this contract 
and then at a certain point it's time for the soul contract to end now we know that it's time for the soul contract to end when there are no more lessons to be learned from the connection so if it just feels daunting or tiring and there's nothing more to come out of a relationship out of a connection between us and another individual that's when we know that it's time to end the soul contract and it's time for us to move forward into new experiences so that may be what some of us are experiencing at this time so that may resonate with one or two of you but we will go ahead and further see how these themes play out as we continue to move forward so let's go ahead and go into our first prediction here i have here the tower the mountain as well as the house card the tower the mountain and the house so before we get into what this can signify first let's go into who may be our romantic interest or who we may be involved with during the month of december now scorpios please keep in mind this is a general reading so not all these very specific details may resonate with you some may even describe yourself some may resonate some may not even if these details do not resonate regarding the description that does not mean that the entire reading is not meant for you that just means that every scorpio in the world is dating somebody different so not all of these details are going to resonate so let's go into these details and then we will get into what this could be signifying as far as a prediction but again keep in mind that not every scorpio is dating the same person some of these details may even describe yourself please take what resonates and please leave what doesn't all right so let's get into this so regarding this individual i'm picking up an earth energy the strongest Capricorn Taurus Virgo for some of you this could be somebody with cancer and this is Sun Moon or rising cancer in the chart Sun Moon or rising for these signs or Gemini in their chart so I'm seeing somebody here who is definitely very attractive very good-looking this person could be tall as well for some it could be over six feet this is going to be somebody who can be more on the tall side somebody who could be um big uh sturdy right we have these cards of somebody being sturdy um well built perhaps even broad shoulders i'm seeing somebody who's let's see here more so on the thinner side however this is going to be somebody who's going to be well built or stocky or square shaped so this is what I'm seeing regarding this particular individual here. Now, what could this be signifying with this combination of the tower, the mountain and the house? This could represent isolation. So some of us could be spending time in our homes with that house card and our homes isolating ourselves away from this person some of us may be setting boundaries because of the challenges with this person or the obstacles with this person and this could be speaking of that well-built person or that stocky person or this can be speaking of uh in a relationship that has been going for some time uh, a stable relationship a stable connection so again it could be that many of us are isolating ourselves which is what i'm picking up first isolating ourselves at home once again or setting boundaries mm. we some of us can want more for ourselves raising our standards regarding the challenges in this relationship so these are the details that i see for this first prediction but again i'm mostly picking up a lot of us spending time to ourselves here let me get our second prediction out all right we have a change a change coming we have here in the center of the rich good gentleman court person 
So for our second prediction, let's see what this could signify here. Well, first off, this rich good gentleman is going to be either your partner or yourself, depending on your gender. If you are a male in a same-sex relationship, this is going to represent your partner. If you're a female, take it as it resonates. But this is going to be representing a partner. Generally, somebody over the age of 30 or even over the age of 40 here. But again, this is a general reading, so you can take those specifics uh, as you may. Take it or leave it. So we have here this individual here. Now, it looks like there may have been perhaps some disputes with this person at some point. Perhaps in the past. However, it looks like moving forward, there's going to be some kind of change, some kind of shift in the dynamic with this person. So somebody could be, again, separating themselves, isolating themselves. Somebody could be leaving the situation, going on to something different. There can be a solution here because it looks like these disputes are going to end these disputes are coming to an end during the month of december so that could be where the change in dynamic comes from but again there's some shift there's some kind of movement something is happening here things will not remain as they were before so we have these changes coming here we may make a major decision a final decision you know a final verdict here regarding making some changes as well So that's what I see here regarding the second prediction. Now, let's go ahead and get into this uh, fortune here. And yes, the winds of change. So again, we have this theme coming out very strongly. Changes, changes, changes. The winds of change. Your surroundings will undergo transition. So there is going to be some kind of shift. There is going to be some kind of movement. Again, things will not move forward as they were before. There's a transition here. And the Phoenix here, the Phoenix rising. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. So if there has been some crisis or feelings of crisis, if there have been um, some challenges, some difficulties, again, regarding this situation, regarding this particular partner here or person, perhaps previous partner or person, again, however this resonates with you, again, the challenges are going to be in the past. So renewal is coming. Renewal is coming after all these challenges. And that's excellent because that's the energy that we seek. We want to be like that phoenix rising, rising out of the ashes there, rising out of the fire. So that's beautiful. Major changes coming. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new light. Let's go ahead and go into our guidance, shall we? So the first thing I notice here is all of these cards came up in reverse. Okay. Number 43, deep knowing in the reverse again. And then we have number 41, the soulmate card. So again, this is definitely speaking of a soulmate, a past life relationship. And we'll go more into that in a moment. Number 46, regeneration. Number 29, breathe. So, Scorpios, what do we have here? <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, well, with this number 43 deep knowing card, this card generally speaks of going within. However, in this case, because it is in the reverse, Scorpios, we may be going within too much. So we may be suffering from psychic exhaustion or, you know, just overthinking the situation, spending too much time in our heads. So again, psychic exhaustion may be taking place. So this is saying that during the month of December, it's best for us to 
get out of our heads i'm hearing get out of our heads get out get into our bodies or get out of our heads and get into life and what's really going on around us because again we may be spending some time isolating we may be spending some time at home and if we want to do that if that's where we feel the most comfortable okay that's fine um it could be a good idea for others of us to get out there change a change of scenery so we can get a new perspective on life when we sit at home, we tend, we can dwell in what is going on because we have that energy there. So again, it may be good to get out of that energy and see what's going on out there. It could also be a good idea to, again, keep up boundaries, energetic boundaries. So if anyone's asking something of you that you do not want to do or give, you can just say no, you know, and you don't have to have a reason. Say no, thank you. But again, this is speaking of the need for us to get out of ourselves. That's going to be beneficial during the month of December. Now, once again, we have this soulmate here, this past life relationship, and there will be some changes going on with this soulmate. Now, the soulmate card came up in the reverse because this card is calling for us to be aware of these types of dynamics here within soulmate relationships we have so many soulmates that come in and out of our lives not every soulmate is meant to stay in our lives permanently soulmates do once again come in and out so those soulmates that are transitory or transitory rather those are the ones that come into our lives which we likely had past life connections with before they come in and out of our lives to again teach us those lessons help us learn help us see something help us grow help us evolve help us transition into the person that we need to be when we come into alignment with our ideal partner right with that future long-term partner so with these soulmates we learn so many lessons we have these very necessary experiences because in many ways these relationships can make us stronger they can make us more wise they can show us what it is that we want what it is that we don't want and all those things are very important because when we move forward from these relationships now we have better tools in our arsenal kit now we have more knowledge now we have more wisdom now we have more strength and that allows us to move forward and then align ourselves with partners who are on our level because we all attract partners who are on whatever level we are on energetically like attracts like so if we are vibrating at a particular energy at a particular wavelength we're going to one be attracted to those who are also on that wavelength also in that energy and we're going to attract to us those that are going to reflect that energy back to us so say we got into this past life relationship and maybe as an example not to say that this is what is going on with you but we're going to use this as an example say there was unrequited love from the beginning well we made it we might attract a soulmate that reflects this to us or reflects rather our for example inability to love ourselves or lack of love for ourselves and this relationship highlights that in order for us to work on that clear that karma evolve from that so again we can align with that ideal partner so relations soulmate relationships are very significant regardless of what exactly occurs in the relationship they do not always end pleasantly however they all have a purpose and they all came to us for a reason god makes no mistakes number 46 regeneration So again, this is speaking of the ending of a cycle and the beginning of something new. And this regeneration card in the reverse is saying that there are times when we need to let things die. There are times when we need to let things go. For example, a uh, soul contract, a soul bond. There are times when we may need to let them go, let them die. There are things that need to let that we need to let go. And life goes through cycles there's a there's a cycle to lives and it is birth i'm sorry gestation birth death rebirth we have to let this relationship die so that we can bring about something better spirit loves a void loves a void because when we release the things 
that are not serving us when we make that conscious decision to release the things that are no longer serving us we are sending a message that we are ready to bring in something better for us and spirit loves that because we can fill that void with something beautiful with something fulfilling for us so whatever needs to die whatever needs to let go be let go of this would be an excellent time to do that whether it be a person whether it be emotions or some kind of challenging emotions or challenging feelings about this person or this situation again everything happens for a reason soulmates come into our lives we sign these soul contracts before we come here for a reason because they're to help us grow yes there are times when we experience pain but nobody's immune from experiencing pain and really when it comes to these types of relationships there's worse pain out there that couldn't be experienced so these are somewhat blessings in disguise because we could have learned some kind of lessons in a much more challenging way so these are the easiest way for us to get these messages learn these lessons and move forward so again whatever needs to be let go of whatever needs to die whether it be a person a relationship well, not a person but a connection a relationship thoughts feelings emotions resentments let's let those die so we can bring about something new and then we have the breathe card number 29 in the reverse so there may be a need to bring balance bring balance to your life during the month of December so if we've been spending too much time in our heads and our thoughts at home perhaps isolating this is saying that we need to get up get out and do something let's shake off that energy let's shake off that energy I'm hearing lifelessness this can be a, um, describing lifelessness not really going out there getting out there and living life you know car paying our diems all right so let's get out there let's shake off any negative energy it could be good to take a, a salt bath as we're water signs take a salt bath with um sea salt or with um epsom salt not iodized salt sea salt epsom salt in order for us to clear any negative energy and then we can start anew let's renew let's experience that renewal because really everything is going to work out and now that this situation is passing there's so many opportunities that are opening up at this time so let's get up out and let's have fun all right scorpios so let's go ahead and go into our postcard from spirit dear scorpio we need you to know that you can change things miraculously for you and everyone and make things right it's never too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story let's let that old story die so we can start a new story we can rewrite our story at any time we can close the book and open up a new one so again it's never too late forgiveness is about releasing yourself from the burden of an old story one in which you were a victim of someone else's actions or your own you don't need to carry this around you can set yourself free even advocating for good because of this experience requires your forgiveness to be effective forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done it's not about condoning things that were done and forgiveness is not for the other person forgiveness is for ourselves we don't even need to share with the other person that we forgive because it's not about them it's not about closure it's not about forgiving them it's about releasing so we can move forward so forgiveness is never about condoning things that were done it's about letting yourself off the hook from carrying that burden resentment and hurt are like viruses that spread to others and that is the opposite of what you really desire right 
Imagine what your life would be like without the burdens that you carry when you do not forgive. You can do it, Scorpio. Everyone over here believes in you and adores you. So my dears, these are the messages and the predictions that I have for you all for the month of December in your love and romantic relationships. Thumbs up, like this reading. If the messages resonate with you, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. We can go ahead and check back in on this situation for the mid-December readings. If you would like to book a reading with me, you can do so at my website, powerlifehypnosis.com. And again, you can book a reading with me now through the description box below. You can also contact me on Instant Go at any time. So I'm sending you all so much love and so much light. And I look forward to seeing you here again soon. Alrighty. Mwah. Love you, Scorpios. Bye.